So I've played a lot of party games before in where you're all trying to get the most unique answer be the most different, right? It's very, very important in a lot of those games. Everybody gets the same thing and you kind of get that one other answer. You can score points that way, but not in the game Herd Mentality by Big Potato Games. This game plays, oh, I don't know, four to 20 players, takes about 30 minutes or as long as you want, and is for ages, and and up, and in the game of herd mentality, you want to get the same answer as everybody else. You'll be put up with a certain type of question, and you're going to give an answer, but the answer is gonna be what the herd thinks, what everybody would generally think in the game, and that's the most important aspect of it. If you get too far off, or you make an answer that no one's going to guess, you're going to likely get the pink cow. The pink cow is different than the rest of the cows, and you don't want the pink cow because with it, you can't win the game herd mentality. If you successfully get in the majority, you're gonna get cow points, and if you get a certain number of cow points in the game, you win the game. It's pretty simple. I'll show you what it comes with and everything included, and how to basically play the game, and then we'll give you my review. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Big Potato Games knows how to bring a positive and exciting party experience. Even the packaging for when they send us games is an exciting experience. Experience. You get got the game we let Monique play and review that one sent us an exploding envelope that hit me full of confetti Which was crazy. I actually filmed it previously But I didn't expect what was going to happen to happen and the same with a lot of these other games, too I think this one came look like look like a pen But really really interesting and like I said the party experience is a very very important thing and they know how to do it Really well at big potato games. This game here is a pretty simple one It's been seen before but what's unique about this one here is that you are trying to get the exact opposite of a different answer. You want the same answer as everybody else. And if you do not get the same answer, you can end up with this guy here. The game starts off with all the points set aside. You're going to have this little herd pen as well as your little uh, piglet, and you can set him in here or, or vice versa. Go ahead and take these cards and shuffle them all up and give everybody a pad of paper and a pen. And then have somebody begin by reading the cards off. What is the most annoying genre of music? Everybody is then gonna go ahead and try and think of a annoying genre of music. Okay, I've got one. Do you have one? I was thinking rap. <laughs> That's my most annoying genre of music. And if you also thought rap, so if you and two other people thought rap and one person thought country, well then, I'm just gonna get somebody mad, the country person. The person who gets the country is gonna get this pig here. And everybody else, the people who picked rap, are going to score one of these cute little cows. And that is how you win the game, by getting the exact same answer as everybody else. You need eight points in order to win, but you can really just go as far as you want. And if you have the cow and you have eight points at the same time, you don't win until somebody else gets this little cow. The next person's gonna go ahead and draw another card, read it out loud, which British wild animal would you make? Make the, would make the coolest pet. Which British wild animal would make the coolest pet? A British wild animal. Not a kangaroo, right? Yeah, that's Australian. The heck is a British wild animal? Leave a comment below for a British wild animal. For some reason, I can't think of one. Regardless, though, the game is fairly simple. It's a straightforward party game, but I did play this with quite a few new gamers and some older, more distinguished members of the gaming industry. And I'll tell you what I think right now. Poof! What? I made you appear out of nowhere. <laughs> That's how good camera editing is done. Oh, okay. So let's talk about the game Herd Mentality. Herd Mentality is by Big Potato Games and it plays a lot of players. Now, what do you think about how many players it plays? Well, we couldn't experiment with reaching the max number of players due to the pandemic and everything. So, um, but I think it easily works with a large number of players. I could see that even without having played it with that many. Yeah, it's 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 super straightforward as a game, right? You're just, it's, it's a party trivia game that allows for the, any number of players to play. And obviously you need to get as many people on the same answer as possible. So if I said, what's your favorite type of mammal, right? Some people are usually gonna think of their favorite type of animal or mammal, but in reality, maybe you should think of a, a cow. Because everyone's thinking about because that. Because <laughs> th that is the most obvious answer to pick. And it's not really about what you would put down as an answer. Mm -hmm. It's about what everybody would put down as an answer. You know? You might have a personal favorite band, but if, you know, the question is, what's the most famous band? What's your favorite white drink? Else. 
What's your favorite white drink? I would put down milk. Even right? Though it's even though she not. hates milk. So <laughs> that's kind of the idea with the game, though. There's quite a few cards here that, I don't know, there's probably at least 100 cards here. Yes. And there is plenty of replayability because even if you use the same question, uh, you're going to make own. up a. You, yeah, you can do that as well. <laughs> yeah. But even if you use the same question, you, you're going to get different answers regardless of who's playing the game. So even if you're playing the game uh, with three or four different other people, you might switch up that answer the next time because of the group you're with, right? Mm -hmm. Just like in Cards Against Humanity, how certain people are going to have certain cards they're going to just like more than others, regardless yeah. of whether or not it makes sense. Because making game. sense doesn't matter either. Yeah, you don't even have to you pick your favorite mammal. Players. You're going to pick the word that everybody thinks of, right? Um, I guess there is one little game breaking aspect. If you say, if everybody says a que if there's a question and everybody else just says, simply writes down the same word every time, <laughs> that, could, that could break it. Yeah, but it's, it's not, not playing the to the spirit of the, of the game. game. Yeah, it's and... a new. That's what you're gonna say. <laughs> and because it's a social party game, it's not even necessarily about winning. It's just about <laughs> sparking conversations and eh, and having fun. And and like, yeah, there's some fun conversations we had about different things that we hadn't talked about with the. It's a good. Players. It's a good icebreaker. Yeah, icebreaker. yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we we played this game with a bunch of new gamers as well. They enjoyed it. This is a game that's going to hit target fairly easily. I, 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 most of the games from Big Potato Games are party games. They're games that are marketed, which, in my opinion, are something that you would see a large retail store play with. Yeah. Like you could pick the, the them up at the Target, the Walmart, the Barnes and Noble, and all that kind of stuff. Dante is very excited about this. Giddy. He thinks it's a toy. Oh no, that that may be a warning there. Um, yeah, but everything's pretty decent quality as well. The cards are probably a little less thick than I'd probably like, but all the tokens are nice. It has this little cute pig pen, which didn't even need to be included, but the fact they included it for fun yeah, is kind of nice. And, and that's part of a trademark of big potato games is uh, just doing things this for fun. This whole box here is like soft, like cow prints, like Fuzzy. you can feel the fuzziness of it. <laughs> and then even inside of it kind of looks like a green pasture. So they, yeah, they go really above cute. and beyond for the party games. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they're definitely one of the companies I would always suggest people go to if they want to get a Enough, you know, different party games to play with a group of people, especially newer gamers and older gamers alike. I really, really enjoyed this game. I mean, it's simple, it's pretty straightforward, and it's probably a game you've played similarly to in the past, but this one has a unique twist to it, adds a lot of little fun features and components that are nice quality with a bunch of different little topics that you can kind of discuss, and this game can stand the test of time. Yep. Like it, Overall, great icebreaker game, great game for a lot of different types of players family, friends, all ages. Um. And if you like party games, you should definitely ch check out Herd Mentality, as well as pretty much any of the titles from Big Potato Games. They do a great job of their stuff. And I have I have one of those squishy little potatoes somewhere. They always send me little potatoes. It's so cute, so cute. This whole game is just cute. They always make cute, really, really cute titles. So if you're interested in the game, link down below in the description. Go ahead and pick up the game Herd Mentality and think alike, because what is your favorite video game? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm trying to think of what you would say. Uh, World of Warcraft, then. Mega Man. That was going to be my favorite uh, one. I got I got a tattoo. I, know, I figured I know. you'd think You're of that. Oh, well, well, well. World of Warcraft is where we met, so, you know, I thought maybe you'd think of that. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>